Whenever I install a window into an opening, the first thing you want to do is make sure that the window is centered into the rough opening. Next thing is I want to check the window for level. Once I make the window level, I tack the two top corners. I then check the window for plumb. All right, so now this window is level and it's plumb, so I know it's square. So now I can tack the bottom in the four corners, holding it into position. Now before I nail off the rest of the flange, I have to check one more important thing, and that is to make sure the window is parallel to itself. So I take a measurement at the top, the middle, and the bottom. Once I'm sure that all three measurements are exactly the same, I can then nail the window off. Now the window is installed square and parallel on the outside, but it doesn't mean that it's parallel on the inside. So what I like to do is check the space between the sash and the jam to see that it's equal all the way down. If it isn't, I simply put a shim in between the rough opening and the jam and move the jam over, making it parallel with the sash. Now all of these steps are important and a lot easier to do it now than fix it later. Boy, Dan, that's quite an entryway. It's really nice. Thanks. How long you been here? About six months. Wow, it's a big room. Six months. So you were here for the cold winter with all the breezes. Did you find any drafts? We, we did, actually. The, the window over here in the corner, uh, yeah. we noticed, was, was howling during a, a windstorm. And, and we, we found uh, air coming through as well. Really? I guess my first question is a lot of people <laughs> forget to lock the windows. Did you lock the window? Yep. Okay. Yeah, in fact, over on this side is where we felt the air coming through. Yeah. Well, I look at the gap down here at the bottom where the sash meets the jam, and as I come up, it gets really wider in the middle, and I actually see light through the sash and the weather stripping. And same thing on this side, tight in the bottom, it gets wider. So if I take a measurement inside the jam and I measure across the bottom, it's 30 inches. If I measure right here in the center, it's 30 and 5 sixteenths. That's over a quarter of an inch difference. That's wow. a lot. Okay? So what I'm going to do is, if you want to remove this curtain, I'll go to the truck, get some tools, and we can pull this window back together. All right. Sounds great. Be right back. All right. So what I want to do is I want to remove the casing from the wall, and I want to take my utility knife and score right along the edge of the casing where it meets the wall and where the casing meets the jam of the window. Then I want to pry the casing away from the wall so I can reuse it. All right, now that we've removed the casing on each side of the window, we can see how the wallboard and skim coat plaster come into the jam of the window. But what I need to see is the rough opening between the jam and the stud. So I'm going to cut away a little bit of the wallboard with my utility knife. Okay, so now you can actually see the edge of the rough opening. There's only about a quarter of an inch gap there, which doesn't give a lot of room to put insulation in there. What we need to do now is get some shims and push it in there between the rough opening and the jam, pushing the jam over, tightening up the weather stripping. You want to pass those shims sure. to me? I'll slide them in. All right, I think I'm going to put another one right down here. Put away a little more less wallboard. <laughs> All right, let's have another shim there. Okay. The gap is already a little better. Okay, now I'm going to take a second one and put the skinny side in first. That way the wedge will stay parallel with the inside of the jam. Now you can see that gap tightened right up. 
All right, again, the thin side in first. Slide it in, and you can actually see the jam move over. Wow. And that slid the jam over to the sash, making that space equal all the way down. But also, you don't see any more light through the weather stripping. That's quite the difference. Okay, so that's going to make a big difference in the wintertime. But I have to check how the window operates now. I want to make sure that I have some resistance, which I do, when I move it up or down. You really don't want the window to slide up and down. Okay? Okay. Let's check one more thing. Let's see if the window is parallel. Check the bottom, which is still 30, because we haven't moved that. And the middle is 30, right on the button. Nice. Now I'll just take my utility knife and cut the shims flush. Okay, so now we need to fill this gap right here on either side of the shim. I can see that there's fiberglass insulation up here and down below. But we're going to use foam insulation that's designed to go between the window jam and the rough opening, but it doesn't expand a lot, so it won't push it tight. All right, Dan, a little bit of touch-up to do on the painting, fill some holes, but look at that gap. Awesome. No more light. You'll be a little more comfortable now. It looks great, Tommy. Thanks for coming out. My pleasure. Thanks for your help.